Good afternoon. It's Sunday. Sunday fun day afternoon. I don't know, there might even be a cowboy game on. And I won't have watched it though. Because I've been busy trying to figure out how to beat some of these sailing channels around here. And you know what? I just can't do it. <laughs> there is no way I can be pretty girls in bikinis dancing around on sandy beaches in beautiful locations. Can't do it want to try to do it, but it brings me back. I think I'm going to call I think I've got a couple of other numbers to call and ask them if they could call or write me back the reason why metal detectors would not work in school situations. I'm thinking about doing that. Now I know I changed up from the girls in bikinis on the beaches but my mission here, I got a bit of a big head. Because when somebody says they like you, or they post, they post a like, that's a powerful thing. That means you've done something in somebody's life that made them hit the button. Yeah. And for me, it means everything to make a person happy during a day's time. I'm stuck basically in these four walls. Oh, well, you say you can hop, hop into a wheelchair. Well, I can be lifted into a wheelchair. And then I can be lifted out of a wheelchair. I don't want to go through that right now. You know, maybe I, when I lose 20 more pounds, I might start doing that. So... So anyway, the sailing doodles, oh, you can't, you can't beat him. You, you're not going to, I, I highly recommend his channel. I don't, I, I haven't publicly done anything with him, but, but him and, and then the, uh, the vagabonds, those people, you can't be a beautiful girl in a bikini. You can't, you can't be. And I'm, but there are people like me too that maybe need to be uplifted, maybe don't have a computer. If you don't have a computer, you're probably not watching me right now, which is a problem in itself because you need a computer to watch me. So you need to buy a computer. 
and then you've got to get an internet connection and then you've got to go get on Microsoft Edge that seems to be the best one although I do use uh, Google quite a bit too and then go to YouTube and then hit Mark the Mark and boy won't you get a wealth of information out of him He's not doing too good on his promise to the kids that he'd get metal detectors in school. Why aren't they already in there? I don't know. But I've got my little, I've got my little bus here, and maybe she'll tell us what the weather's doing. It was kind of rough. This is Sunday, the uh, second, fourth of April. So let's see what Noah has to say.
The National Weather Service in Fort Worth has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for East Central Montague County in North Central Texas, Central Cook County in North Central Texas, until 6 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 5.10 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near St. Joe, or 12 miles east of Nakona, moving east at 35 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Gainesville, Munster, St. Joe, between mile markers 497 and 503. A tornado watch remains in effect until 11 p.m. Central Daylight Time for North Central Texas. For your protection, get inside a sturdy structure and stay away from windows. The National Weather Service in Norman has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Central Love County in southern Oklahoma until 6 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 5.12 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located six miles south of Leon, moving east at 35 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Marietta, Sackerville, Leon, and Burnaville. A tornado watch remains in effect for the warned area. Tornadoes can develop quickly from severe thunderstorms. For your protection, move to an interior room, lowest floor of a building. Now let's check on your local forecast for the Gainesville listening area. Rest of this afternoon, showers and thunderstorms. Some thunderstorms may be severe with damaging winds, large hail, and tornadoes. Locally heavy rainfall possible. Highs in the mid-70s. South winds 10 to 15 miles an hour. Chance of rain near 100%. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms in the evening. Some thunderstorms may be severe with damaging winds, large hail, and tornadoes. Not as cool with lows in the upper 50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles an hour. Chance of rain 90%. Monday, sunny, warmer with highs in the upper 80s. South winds 10 to 15 miles an hour. Monday night, mostly clear in the evening, then partly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 10 to 20 miles an hour, becoming 15 to 20 miles an hour after midnight. Gusts up to 30 miles an hour. Well... We're going to have some severe weather tonight. Now that's no good. Well, we can't help that. But what we can do is be prepared and listen to no weather radio or other news sources. And that will help keep us safe. And maybe, just maybe, the world will keep on spinning. And the, these people that have devastated houses will keep on living. Uh, that's a terrible thing tornadoes are. Terrible. Terrible, terrible. I want to thank you for listening. And thank you for your support. These metal detectors in school, I think, are necessary. But I've had wrong ideas before. So, 
if I'm wrong on this, please let me know. I thank you, and I don't know if I'll see you again tonight, but it's uh, 5.32 here. It's, it'll take me just a little while to get this posted, so stand by.